A British MP has died after being shot and stabbed near the English city of Leeds. Joe Cox, a Labour politician, was attacked after holding an advice surgery for constituents, police have confirmed. A 52-year-old man was arrested following the attack. The motive for the killing is still being investigated. Cox was elected in last year's general election and was married with two daughters. British Prime Minister David Cameron described the 41-year-old MP's death as a tragedy, saying we've lost a great star. The incident took place in the West Yorkshire town of Burstall. Police have confirmed that they are not looking for anyone else in connection with the incident. Joe was attacked by a man who inflicted serious and sadly ultimately fatal injuries. Subsequently, there was a further attack on a 77-year-old man nearby who has sustained injuries that are non-life-threatening. Shortly afterwards, a man was arrested nearby by local uniformed police officers. Weapons, including a firearm, have also been recovered. Campaigning for Britain's EU referendum has been temporarily suspended following the attack. On Wednesday, the MP's husband and daughter took part in a flotilla between in and out supporters on London's River Thames. Joe Cox, Cox was 41 years old and had two children, aged three and five. She was a Labour MP for the constituency of Batley and Spen in West Yorkshire. Cox was elected to Parliament in 2015. She earlier worked as Oxfam's head of policy. Auntie's Anastasia Cherkin joins me uh, live now from London with the latest. Uh, Nastia, lots of details have been emerging since this uh, very unfortunate incident. What, what do we know at this point about the attacker and about the actual uh, circumstances of the attack itself? Well, Neil, uh, obviously, as information continues to come in, it's difficult to uh, really put together the details as they're trickling in. But what's clear is that any real clarity on the motives and the what led to this attack is yet to be shed. What we do know is that West Yorkshire police have arrested a 52-year-old man. They have seized uh, weapons from him, including a firearm. Now, this man has been identified as Tommy Mayer, a man who's described uh, by neighbors as a loner and somebody who kept to himself and was living in a house in, an, in this area uh, of the attack for the last 40 years uh, by himself. And according to media reports, suggestions have been made that allege that witnesses have claimed that leading up to the attack, this man had reportedly said it's time to make Britain first again, referring to a group named Britain First here in the UK, which is uh, known as a, uh, a right wing nationalist group that on its own website describes itself as a patriotic political party and street defense organization that's known for its very harsh stance against uh, issues like immigration and multiculturalism. It has to be said that Britain First have issued an official statement denying any connection uh, to this man and to this incident condemning what happened. Apparently and allegedly the attacker shouted Britain first or put Britain first or put in British people first during this attack. At the moment we do not know what was said. Nothing's been confirmed, no one's been named, there's been no eyewitness accounts published in the media. At the moment it is pure Well, clearly hearsay. more information on this attack is yet to come in. We do know that the police have said that they're conducting a very thorough investigation, that they've been questioning lots of witnesses and speaking to them about what they might have seen or heard. So more official statements from them are to be expected. But they have said that this man is uh, the only suspect in this case. So we'll be waiting to learn more about what exactly unraveled. Absolutely. That's Artizanis here. Cherkin, bring us the latest there. Uh, thank you.